Okay, so let's start working on our next shader. And for this part I will create a new set of textures. So you can see right now I am in Photoshop and what I'm going to do, I will make a change to uh, this albedo texture. I will turn off uh, dust texture because we want to be able to turn on or turn off our dust in Unreal. So let's start with a clean texture, weapon texture. And for our AO we will not make any changes. Uh, gloss, of course we will have to turn off uh, the dust too. And normal map we will leave default. So we can export these textures uh, one more time. Let's run the exporter. And I have created another folder. And same options, 50% sharper. Uh, Unreal Engine. So let's export. Let's open this location. So you can see we have all these maps again. Let's copy and paste our uh, FBX here just to make everything clear and let's create another texture because we will need a mask we can close Dido for now and we want to mask some parts of this weapon So let's create a new file. Let's fill this with a white color for example. Create a new layer. And let's select uh, some parts of our albedo texture. So this is our albedo for this part of the mesh. Let's fill it with white, with black on the new layer. And let's select other parts. I will create another layer and fill it with black and another one and we will also create a new layer and fill it with black uh, right now I want to duplicate all these three layers to our new document And you can see we have all of these here. So this is good, but I want also mask all the scratches on the surface of this, this main part of the weapon. So I will go here and try to do this. This is our classic military.
create a white for this. And I will duplicate this. Move to the bottom here. Okay. So we've got something like this. We will merge this one with uh, this main part. This is the second part, and this is the third part of the of the weapon. So right now I will do something that might look a little bit weird. Let's group these layers to see this a little bit clearer because you might not be familiar with this kind of stuff. Uh, I want to put these textures on a separate uh, channels. just to save some texture space and this is very often used by the artist working with Unreal Engine so let's start with this red let's control A copy this layer and let's go to a channel so we we have this already on the red. Let's go with green. Control C and let's go back to this red first one. So you can see I've pasted this alpha to a green channel of this first texture. Of course right now we will see a, a bunch of different colors but don't worry about this. Let's go with the blue, again Control A, Control C, go to a channel of this first one, and with a blue channel Control B. So right now we have something that looks like this, and we will need only this first one texture. This one we can delay. So right now in channel red we have one alpha, in channel green we have another alpha, and in channel blue we have another alpha. And something like this we will use to mask our parts of our weapon. Of course I want to add another channel which is alpha channel, and I will put in this channel our ambient occlusion. So maybe let's... Uh, Let's maybe control D on these layers. No. So control E to flat the image, control C, and let's put the ambient occlusion into an alpha channel. We can okay, we can close this one. We can close this one. Mm. Uh, I forget that we have also uh, have to create a mask for our dirt. So in alpha channel we will not uh, put an ambient occlusion. We will put an ambient occlusion into an alpha channel, but of the albedo texture. So let's right now go to albedo. Let's open our dirt. And this is our dirt mask. 
Let's copy our dirty mask. Let's go back to our file to alpha channel and control V to paste this mask for our dust. So this will be our file for masks. We have mask for a dirt, mask for this top part of the weapon, mask for the the other parts of the weapon. So RGB might look weird, but it's totally fine. Let's uh, scale this down because in game we need a smaller size of the texture. And let's save this. Save it as uh, Targa Weapon Masks, for example. And we need 32 bit per pixels because we want uh, alpha channel to be in there, so we want 32 bit. Save it. Of course, we want also PSD file for this something will be wrong we can close this right now and let's close this too and this one too let's open our albedo and I've told you that we need an ambient occlusion uh, but into a alpha channel yes so we can close this one and you can see we have albedo with our alpha with our ambient occlusion map into alpha channel. We are doing this because this uh, saves some uh, space. We don't have to, for example, load uh, one another texture for ambient occlusion. We can just load uh, one file with uh, ambient occlusion into an alpha channel and use it as a normal uh, ambient occlusion. So let's save this Control S and let's switch to Unreal Engine right now. <laughs> 